everyone and welcome back to my channel and if you're new to my channel welcome to you going to be reading for the lovely star sign of cancer so cancer let's start shuffling the cards and see what wonderful messages we've got for you this week what have we got for cancer I feel like that top one which is wow selenite clear the clutter i have got a big piece of selenite here if i grab it here you see that is selenite and this is really good for you use this to sort of go all around your body okay to get to cleanse your aura People use this, healers use this to cleanse your aura. You can do it yourself, I'll just go over my own aura. So I'll go over you, Cancer, clearing your aura. Clear the clutter, okay? Clear the clutter in your mindset, however. Let's just see what this is coming out with. And we've got matters of the heart matters of the heart coming out for you learning to forgive cancer learning to let go clearing the clutter of your mindset and do what matters for you let's have a look what your inner psyche is feeling this week Like it's wiped the slate slate clean. Wipe the slate clean. Spirit comes in in your inner conscience to say the fates are coming in. The fates are about to step in for you, and your spirit, your inner self, is giving you this message forewarning you. I feel like the 17th of August, 17th of August is going to be key for some of my cancers. A wish will be coming true. Let's have a look what the universe wants to bring in to add on to this. And we've got Ten of Pentacles. Something comes to a conclusion. And it's going to affect your family network, but for the positive, okay? I want to say you're going to be sitting pretty, Cancer. You're going to be sitting pretty. And whatever this outcome is, it's going to make you uh, more stable. It's going to make your family more stable and secure. Beautiful energy to have. Let's have a look what your animal spirit card is. And we have the whale. And it's the alchemical sign of water. And I want to say you've pushed through here. There's a situation, guys, that you've been dealing with, waiting on. And you've got this final breakthrough. The power of the whale, okay? The magnificence of that animal. The power that, that animal brings in cutting through the waters. This is what, why it's coming out for you to say. Something's coming to the surface. You've pushed through. And it's fated. And I want to say around the 17th of August. And I want to, it's like the spirit is shouting, you've done it, we've done it, we've done it for you. You did it. It's beautiful energy, Cancer. Let's have a look what the fairies want to bring in then. Pure intention. The fairy of manifestation will help you to use your wishes wisely. Manifest your heart's desires with pure intention and for the highest good of all. So I see there's a wish coming in here. Yippee hi hey. Yippee yippee yippee. Cancer, cancer, cancer. Let's have a look what your guides, angels and spirits want to add on to it. 
feel like I want to bring the lucky unicorn in for you. Lucky unicorn. Lucky unicorns. So yeah. And I want to wave my um, little citrine abundance crystal around you as well. Bring in the abundance. And also, let's have the lucky Buddha. Okay. Wee. <laughs> so yeah. So let's have a look. The 17th of August, guys. Look out for that one. That's just, oh, two have dropped out. Three have dropped out. I'm going to read you what they want me to say. When you're ill, ask your angels to help you and visualise yourself being well. So you could be suffering with a little niggling health issue at the minute. So, love yourself and all the good in you, then others will feel it and love you too. Don't be hard on yourself. Start to love yourself, okay? Matters of the heart that we had there. And then the last one is, be careful that negativity doesn't lodge in your body. Visualise a green light around you for protection. So, let go of the negativity. Let go of these worrying thoughts because the universe has your back cancer and something really good is going to be coming in around the 17th of August. So let's have a look what else you need to concentrate on. We came in with clear the clutter. What else does cancer need to concentrate on and we've got the lovers coming in here it can mean concentrating on relationships family relationships okay one-to-one -one relationships it can also mean about as i said loving you not giving yourself a hard time learn to respect yourself but as I say here, we've got um, the lover's card comes in because it's as though you've got love and support around you as well coming in. So Cancer, I'm just going to grab the crystal ball and let's have a look if you've got any messages from Spirit for you this week. Any signs, symbols or messages for Cancer, please. What have we got coming in for Cancer? News of engagement for some of you, because they're showing me an engagement ring here, so you could hear of an engagement. What else have we got for cancer? There's somebody around a cancer who needs an x-ray on their foot. Okay, so there's an x-ray here on a foot. I have a Martin in spirit for cancer. So it comes in on a memory link here around this time. I've also got the name Frank, very dark headed man, very pointy features, would have had issues with breathing, there's something about uh, his teeth as well, really suffered with his, like his, his mouth, mouth issues around him towards the latter stages.
I've got the name Glenys. I feel like Glenys is here on the earth plane where this gentleman draws close to. So there could be issues around a Glenys at the moment on the earth plane. I've got somebody with an eye patch as well. I've got a female Margaret, but she's concerned for somebody. And I feel the person with the eye patch is here on the earth plane. Like she's round somebody who's wearing an eye patch. Okay, thank you, Spirit. Just bringing in this book here called Lifelines. I've had this years. And I wanted to drag this one out this week and see what messages we've got coming out for you. Where do I want to stop for cancer? I feel here. Three questions. In the end, these things matter most. How well did you love? How fully did you love? And how deeply did you learn to let go? Wow, that is the message for you, Cancer. And then we've got eternity. He who binds to himself a joy does the winged life destroy. But he who kisses the joy as it flies lives in eternity's sun rise oh so yeah you might have to ask yourself three questions okay what matters most to you how well do you love yourself and others and how deeply do you learn to let go and forgive okay i feel like this is sort of saying like um, learn to let go of the negatives because this came in didn't it be careful that negativity doesn't lodge in your body don't let people with negative energies pull you down either so my lovely cancers i hope you can take something from that reading this week if you are new to my channel don't forget any comments like subscribe guys it just keeps me ticking along check out your moon and rising signs and until next time you take care of you bye then